Dear friends, before we get into the message of the gospel today, we need to clarify a few things. Number one, the miss a funny thing called the Jewish marriage. There are two steps to Jewish marriage. First, they get betrothed when the girl is about 12, 13 or when she attained puberty. Give her to a man, betroth her to a man and the man will take her to his house, to home, only when she's ready. But she's married. It's not like our engagement. Don't think in this context. It's not the engagement. An engagement, uh, engaged couple is not married in our case. But here she's married. That's why Angel says, don't hesitate to take your wife home. And Joseph decides to divorce her. Legally, you have to divorce her. Because she's, he's married to this lady. Now, second thing is these two names. Angel tells Joseph to name him Jesus. And the prophet says, virgin will bear a son and a child and they shall name him Emmanuel. There are two names now, which is correct, Emmanuel or Jesus. Jesus means God saves, we call God, they call Yahweh, Yahweh saves. An angel mentions that he comes to save human beings from sin. So salvation comes with this name Jesus. His purpose is that. Emmanuel means who he is. That's the meaning of Jesus, his presence. God is with us. These are two names, but the real name is Jesus. Emmanuel is just the idea that he is with us, God is with us. When God is with us, he saves us. Okay, this is the bigger plan of God. When it comes to the plan of God, human beings sometimes can't understand it. We can't fathom the mighty plans of God and we rationalize, we think logically according to our little intelligence. Now Joseph thinks, come on, now she's founded the child and I'm his, her husband. How can that be? We didn't live together. We are not living together anymore. We are separately living in our own houses. How can that be? And this is a good reason for him to divorce her. His logic is correct. It's a plausible reason, acceptable reason or excuse, you can call it. And he's a good man. Gospel refers to him as a good man. Otherwise, ordinary masculine tendency is to revenge that vengeance is quite allowed in the religion as well in the law if a woman is found with a child before the marriage before the, she is taken home by the man who is betrothed already he has the legal right of that woman in the jewish custom in the jewish court in jewish law how someone is punished is you know that that person will be stoned to death. Remember, a lady was brought to Jesus. Why? Because she didn't have the ownership. No one owned her. Every woman has to have an owner. Unfortunately, in that culture, a woman was part of the man's property. So a man has to own a father, at least a son, Definitely husband should own the wife. So when the woman commits a sin against the man, when they stone the person in public, first stone to be hit by the accuser who accuses her. Now when Joseph divorces her, he's a good man. She'll not put into shame. And probably she'll be taken to the elders like they took that lady to Jesus. Therefore, she has an option even to flee and save her life. 
otherwise normally what should have happened was joseph should have brought her to the public forum and accused her and stoned her the first stone to be thrown by joseph and then everyone will stone her to death dear friends where's mary now here we read in the gospel of luke mary is the main character but here in the gospel of matthew joseph is the main character mary is silent mary submitted herself to god's plan said i am the handmaid of god let it be done as you wish she's quiet if god designed something against her plans she realized in the holy spirit she is filled with the holy spirit she realized that she can't do much she has to allow god to do everything now she doesn't come here begging of joseph to take her home we don't realize we don't see mary coming and pleading with him rather she is quiet this is the lesson we learn today dear friends when god designs something in our lives let it be let it be when you realize that you have no control over the situation in this scenario just submit the case to god don't interfere don't go behind anyone if you have done this so far just leave it right now stop it let god handle everything your problem will be solved god will design it the way he wants when you try to interfere god stops his marvelous beautiful masterpiece god will love you to do it then let him design let him he's the artist he's a designer he's the architect let him do it like just so same with a mary did it see how joseph was brought back to her life this is god's plan god acts what happens with us is when someone wants to leave us when someone says i don't want you anymore when you need that person most in your life probably we go behind them we plead with them we cry if you have done that so far it's fine now we realize stop it let god handle god will send the right person at the right time god is the planner he is the designer let him act we have seen now we see the whole picture whole salvation story we know and now we realize it but at that moment mary could not understand anything so what you should do is in such occasions when you are cornered when you push to a corner and you couldn't do can't do anything just don't make decisions don't act let god act let god decide he will do the right thing therefore dear friends let's be like mary or let's be like joseph when we hear the sign the signs of god when we see the signs of god when we hear his voice let's obey and that will make our lives much better and happier amen